we're going to do a stereo install of a 1990 Chevy pickup. Uh, unconventional. I guess it's an unconventional because uh, we're hooking up a stereo, but we're going to keep the factory uh, clock because mine works. It's very accurate. And the radio also works. I know the CD player has a radio, but I want to keep my factory clock. This is how we're doing it. See this? There's your factory. You can keep that. The clock will work. The cassette that is in here, all you do is unplug it and tape it off. That's all you do. It's right here. It plugged into the back of the cassette. All I did was unplug it, tape it off, and the clock still works with the key ignition. So, in order to keep all that, you have to keep the main stuff underneath. So, what we're doing is just tapping into the wires. And this will work if you don't have the wiring diagram to any vehicle. Just when you, when you tap them in, mark them when they get up to the stereo, like that's right, left. Okay? This is how we're doing it. Using the, the blue connector here. And we're tapping it in like, okay, on the, on the Chevy um, 1500s, the dark blue is the positive. So you got your positive side, you just tap it in. Negative goes into the light blue. Um, the wiring diagram for these, like this is the uh, right rear. It's a dark blue positive, light blue negative. Um, the rear on the driver's side is brown and yellow. The brown is positive, the yellow is negative. The front driver's side is tan which is positive and then the gray is negative on the on the right on the right hand side here up front uh, the green is positive and the dark green is the negative so that's your wiring diagram now what I did for power is I all I did was you got this plate right here a lot of people are going to tell you you have to remove that um, that's false. You don't have to remove that. I just hooked up a, a ground wire right to it and the screw so you don't have to run it out to the dash. And I'm going to show you how we hooked up the constant and the uh, switch power. So, This has got door pin problems, but we're going to show you how to do that on another video. But here we go, down on the fuse, you have on every every one of these Chevy trucks from 1989 to 95, and then 95 to 99, same body style but different wiring. But this one, you just buy these Napa quick fuse connects and you plug them in. Now we have a power right here. Constant power, we got a switch power. So this is the battery. So this is the constant, this is the switch. All you do is buy those adapters, plug them in. They're at Napa and plug them in, run the wire over there so it's clean. Kind of tape it up, go to the radio. That's how you hook up that. Now later, different video, we'll have an oil gauge right in here. Because if you want to keep it factory, yeah, you want the factory look and you don't want the gaudiness of the fucking gauges hanging down in the middle Then you can if you only need one gauge I only got one gauge that doesn't work here, so we'll put a manual one in we'll Put it right there so you can fold it up out of sight when you're done That way it looks factory because if uh, this is all about keeping this thing factory I don't want to do nothing To because this was an original truck. It's in good shape, so um, thanks for watching though. Uh, I'll bring you back when I get the, uh, stereo, uh, when I start wiring up the actual CD player itself.